What's up guys? Back again. Day two of my deload slash peaking cycle. Um, weighed in at 220 this morning. Weight's holding steady. I am probably going to compete at 220. Um, something I just came to the conclusion that my body uh, will probably have an easy time maintaining this weight. So I have later weigh-ins. So a little bit of water cutting um, and I should be at 220. So that's really the only real new news. This is basic stuff here side view to see make sure my button didn't come up because i was tucking my feet a little bit more today and my butt did not come up so it felt good um everything felt real nice and strong here no wiggle on my right arm called it a day there on the eight and a half don't know what that was that was some bad editing but i'm one take jones so i'm not going back screw it here we go safety bar squats no belt uh these things with a belt on make me feel like there's an alien bursting from my abdomen like i'm giving birth to a xenomorph so without a belt they're not fun um once again i moderate i kept myself even though i felt very strong today i decided to call it uh call it fairly early um i didn't want to, i wanted to almost put my belt on i'm not gonna lie to you guys i almost put my belt on because i felt like i could get a pr on this i was only doing five reps i felt like i could have gone for you know mid threes on this maybe 350 for five at nine but uh at the end of the day, it would have done no good for me on Saturday. So I'd have just been more sore, more overworked. So I only worked up to, as you can see, 310 for five without a belt, which is actually a PR, beltless PR, if you really care about those types of things. So um, you can see right as you come out of the hole, when I kick those those handles up is when all the weight shifts forward and becomes like a front squat and really loads the core. Um, really forces you to keep your chest up, really keep your abs tight. Um I really like this movement because it's good for me, but I hate it at the same time. So push press, speaking of things I hate, uh, I would love to do strongman at some point, but my overhead pressing strength is horrid. I uh, am not good at pressing stuff above my head or benching or any kind of press for that matter. But uh, overhead pressing makes me feel even weaker. These are a little bit easier for me because I can use a little bit of leg drive, which is easier. And with a belt, obviously, I'd be able to use more weight. But like I said, uh, I'm not going to use a belt because then I'll get all crazy and end up hurting myself. Um, it's kind of bothering my elbows anyways. So I worked up to 165 for six at an RP of nine. Um, max test is in a few days. I'm going to take two days off from the gym and come back. And these are my goals for my mock meet. I'd like to uh, squat 560. It's the weight that beat me last time. So this time around, I'm going to get it. Um, depending on the day, uh, how it goes, I'd like to do 320 or 325 on the bench. I know I'm good for 315, but I really want to um, get more comfortable with heavier weight and make sure my ass stays down and all that because I need uh, a big, a, a, a much better bench at this coming meet to supplement my total. And the deadlift, depending on how I feel, um, I'm, I can pull 600 with the flu, uh, in some jeans, you know, any day of the week, even on that stiff bar. But will a PR be in the cards? I have no idea. I always pull better at meets than I do in the gym, like most people. So I'm going to play it by ear. But I'm going to take a couple of days off. I'm going to foam roll, stretch, um, do a little bit of conditioning, maybe some cardio, and come into Saturday fully rested and fresh. And uh, I will see you guys Saturday, hopefully with some good news and some cool videos.